Long live the king. Hi, and welcome to the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. I am Amber Wilson. Do you hear that? that? That's the sound of silence. For weeks we heard the voices of LeBron James critics. He's no Michael Jordan. He's not a clutch player. He doesn't have the emotional drive to win. He's too young. He can't hold a team on his back. He's not a leader. I mean, we heard it all. But today, after what's being called one of the best performances in NBA postseason history, the critics have been silenced. King James scored 48 points, 25 of which came in the final 12 and a half minutes last night, nearly single-handedly leading his team to a double overtime victory against the talent-packed Detroit Pistons. And that's without even mentioning his nine rebounds and seven assists. Who said LeBron James isn't clutch anyways? James scored 11 points in the fourth quarter of regulation alone, including two monster dunks and a go-ahead layup with 2.2 seconds left to bring his team from a seven-point deficit to a tie, sending the game into overtime. In the first OT, James scored nine points, but did send Chauncey Billups to the line as time was expiring. Billups hit both of his free throws, tying the game at 100 and sparking a second overtime, in which James scored another nine points, was four for four shooting, and converted a twisted layup with just over two seconds left, clinching the 109 to 107 victory over the Pistons. James and the Cavs are just one win from the NBA Finals, but remember they were up three games to two a year ago and couldn't finish it off in Cleveland. And just for the simple fact that we won the, the ball game means more than anything besides my performance. If I did everything I did tonight and we lost, it means nothing. So the win is the most important thing for us and we want more win. From, from getting to our goal. The Cavs and the Pistons will have some competition in the East next year. Billy the Kid is chasing the challenge and the money. University of Florida head basketball coach Billy Donovan is leaving to coach in the NBA. The Orlando Magic reportedly offered Donovan a $27.5 million five-year contract. Donovan and the Florida Gators are coming off back-to-back -back national championships. He turned down offers from the Kentucky Wildcats, and the Memphis Grizzlies in the NBA, but after losing his core of Corey Brewer, Al Horford, Joe Kim Noah, and Torian Green, Donovan will bolt for Orlando, and the NBA is a very sad day for those of us in the Gator Nation. On to the links. Phil Mickelson withdrew from the Memorial Thursday morning with a wrist injury. No word yet if he'll be ready to go for the U.S. Open in a couple of weeks, but Sean O'Hare and Aussies Nick O'Hearn and Rod Pampling both carded first round 65s at Jack's Place and tied for the overnight lead. Tiger Woods went around in 70 and is five off the pace. Third and final round coverage of the Memorial can be seen on CBS on Saturday and Sunday. And that'll do it for the Daily Sports Update presented to you by Toyota. Keep your mouse clicking right here on CBSSportsLine.com for everything you need to know in the world of sports. And if you missed anything here today, stop, refresh, and rewatch me, Amber Wilson. You guys have a good one.